Hey, what's up guys? Dan Clemente and I am just back from a carve. We just used the brand new CNC for newbie Z-axis spindle. This thing is insane. I, I can't even describe how solid and how sturdy this thing is. So just going to show you here. I have a video that I'm going to put on right now. It's going to show you me carving one of my wooden badges that I make all the time. And then I'll go over the spindle itself and what it has to include. But this thing is fantastic. This isn't going to be an extremely long review because it's just a Z-axis. It's not like building the machine like another one I did. But this thing is absolutely fantastic. I purchased the 1.5 kilowatt spindle uh, for this Z-axis. But wow, wow, wow. Solid as, as could be. Heavy, solid, fast. I mean, everything you can imagine. It, you know, coming from an X car from the very, very beginning, what I've come to to now over the last year and a half is, is absolutely amazing. So let me turn this around, show you what it is, and we'll go from there. All right, so there it is. The new CNC for newbie Z-axis mount. Take a look at this bad boy right here. This thing has huge square linear bearings, the same size linear bearings that are on the uh, X and Y axis, and now they're on the Z-axis. You can see the size of this, this is a 1.5 uh, spindle. Uh, the huge, huge bearings. This plate, this whole Z-axis thing weighs about 10 pounds and it will fit your existing 269 motors. And you can even go higher than this if you have a controller that will uh, support it. But uh, this is it so far. We're gonna do uh, a carve here to show you what it does, show you what it looks like, and then we'll break it down and what it includes and what's uh, the build of it and go from there. of the new spindle itself mounted to the CNC for newbie z-axis you can see it's uh, a very solid it's got it's mounted four screws on each screw side this thing ain't going nowhere and then the spindle itself is very very heavy duty as I said earlier it's uh, air cooled uh, wired to a VFD that comes with the kit this kit I'll put a link in the description below where I got this from if you were to buy a different spindle I believe that CNC for newbie would ask for the whole pattern and they would create the whole pattern for you that you need. So this is the whole pattern that was uh, given to me with this spindle uh, for this axis. So here it all is, all set up, ready to go. Excellent setup. I don't really know what else to say about it, but I'm going to get out here in a second. I'm going to go through what it includes and at least you guys will know what you're getting. All right, so I think it would be quite important to go over the specs for the new CNC for newbie Z-axis. I have them here on my screen. I'm going to read them, and these are provided by them, so I'm going to read them exactly how they gave it to me. So it's made from half-inch thick aluminum, 6061 T6, 13 inches in height without the stepper motor. It is four inches wide by seven and a quarter inch height from uh, for the front plate to mount with an air-cooled spindle. It's 2.1 inches thick, so it's a very low profile to keep the weight close to the X-Rail. Uh, 15 millimeter, four races, square linear bearings, 12 millimeter diameter, uh, turn precision lead screw, all brass adjustable anti-backlash nut system, six inches of travel, direct drive with a rigid mount for the stepper motor, and you can use NEMA 23 steppers 269 or 425. Bottom is flush with the X carriage, and as always, it is the CNC for newbies quality machine that we've come to expect over the years with their products. So my final thoughts, I love it. I think it is an awesome Z-axis. I'm very happy with it. Uh, they did give it to me for a review. So I know a lot of people always say, oh, well, he's reviewing it, so he's going to give it great ratings. Uh, I'm a pretty much no BS guy. If the thing sucked, I would tell you it wasn't that great. Uh, an example, a few months ago, somebody gave me uh, something to try out in my review. I kind of blasted it. It was it wasn't that good. So I am very happy with this setup uh, I did purchase separately on my own the the spindle itself the 1.5 spindle So I did have some money in the game with this So of course when you're getting it you do hope it's gonna work out really well and I couldn't be happier The spindle was purchased from Amazon 
Uh, it came with the VFD and the spindle itself. It's an air-cooled spindle. There'll be a description, as I said earlier, in the uh, bottom of this YouTube page where I bought the spindle from. The price point for the new ZX is I don't know at the moment because I don't believe it's on their website. But once it is on their website, I will post the link to the description in the bottom. Uh, completely solid, though. I can't, from coming from their original Z-axis, which was on this machine, which was excellent. Don't get me wrong, it was fantastic. But these new linear bearings, the real thick linear bearings, this thing is absolutely a, uh, it's a solid brick. Uh, very heavy. Altogether, the whole unit weighed about 10 pounds, and I'm very happy with it. So far, I've done a test carve, and I did this carve here. Uh, I did this yesterday, and this was done without sanding. This is completely off the machine. Um, cherry. You can see how nice this is. It's perfect. And the machine didn't have any problems cutting this. So I am very happy with it so far. And of course, I will continue to run it. Uh, my machine runs 24-7, so I need something that's solid and rigid all the time. Uh, when I used to have the X-Carve, it just wasn't, it wasn't there. Chatter and, and just wasn't as rigid as this machine is. So um, as you know from my old review with the machine being built to now, it's just, it's, it's come a long way over the last year and a half of owning a CNC machine. But I do highly recommend this new Z-axis. Very happy with it. Very happy they sent it to me. Very happy I got a chance to try it out. I think I'm the first person to try it out. And I couldn't be happier. So thanks to them. I'll put a link again for their website in the description. Check it out. I think you'll really like it. If you were looking to upgrade to a spindle from using a DeWalt router, this is the way to go to start. Uh, it's much quieter. I, I noticed that. The DeWalt was always such a loud, you know, a loud router. And also really cool to go with this, you have the ability now with a spindle, the ability to hook up to your uh, X controller or your controller, your tool paths are controlling the speed now. No more having to spin a dial on the side of the router, the DeWalt. So that's kind of cool. So now when I turn it on, if I have the, the tool path set for 12,000 12, RPMs, the machine turns on and it goes to 12,000 RPMs. So I do like that aspect that I'm able to control the the spindle from the tool pad. So that's pretty much all I got. I really, really like it. I hope this wasn't too long and drawn out. Um, it was a lot shorter than my last video for when I built the machine, but I think you guys will like it. I really think you'll enjoy it. I hope you check it out and buy it. And uh, that's pretty much all I got today. So have a great rest of the day. Thanks for watching. And guys, keep on seeing. We'll see you later.